Welcome to part 36 of Sailor Moon Another Story! And I'm gonna show off the bad ending! And for those of you who are wondering about the bad ending, well, uh, let's just say, uh, certain someone underestimated the final boss of the game! <laughs> You'll see in just a moment, as soon as I actually find out where I'm going. <coughs> but nonetheless, ladies and gentlemen, uh... The final boss is not going to be located on the left side, rather it's going to be located on the right. And the basement is actually... Oh wait, come on man. Get back out of there and go back to the flight of stairs. Thank you! I think it's supposed to be this way. Yes, this is where the basement supposedly is. No, not this way. Get back down, get back down. Turn left, and go down. There we go, this is where the basement is located. And from here, there was a save point, and I feel like an ass, and I should have saved over here. However, the good news about this is, I could just pick up from that point and continue at any time. But I'm going to probably reload off screen and get stronger. Oh, you'll see in just a moment. You'll see. But anyway, once again, we'll be forced to pick our teammates. For some inexplicable reason, we'll be forced to pick our teammates every time we come near this area. Or every time uh, we leave this palace to grind. So yeah, get used to that. This is the final level, folks! Final battle! We could do this! So, in other words, we have the A team who is gonna stick with Sailor Moon and the B team who is gonna stick with Sailor Chibi Moon. And, to be perfectly honest with you, if you were grinding with the B team, uh, this battle would actually be easy. So, with that, for, with that said, we're going to switch some, uh, part, no, we're going to keep the same party members I had for Team A, and Team B is going to have the leftovers. I wouldn't call Jupiter, uh, Mars, and, uh, Neptune leftovers, it's just the fact that even at their level, they could actually do something should things go awry. Now, about things going awry. I want you all to look at the stat, but first of all, let's go on ahead and put the positions to everybody correctly. Let's let's put Nep I mean Saturn there. Yeah, that'll be just fine. I want you all to, and then I'm gonna save it too. I want you all also to look at the stats of my characters. Well, eventually, if I show them all, most of them are ranging between 120 to at least 170 defense. Unfortunately, that is not enough to protect you from the final boss of this game. Why? Because we are extremely underleveled. The minimum to actually fight this boss without being completely wiped out is level 55. This is Demon Apsu. She's burnt with sin, and now she looks like she's riding a dragon. So, with that said, this is definitely Final Fantasy X. Evil sociopath riding on a gigantic monster. And the evil sociopath is Seymour. Anyway, <clears throat> now it's time for us to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Demon Apsu. And I hope we can put an end to her. I really do, and I already gave away the spoiler of the fact that uh, I underestimated this boss. And not just that, we're going for the bad end. So, with that in the name of the moon, I shall punish you. It's time for Demon Apsu. And oh my god, this bitch is hard. First of all, Demon Apsu, Sonic Wave to put any of your members to sleep. Secondly, she also has Fem Du, Sh no, Fem du Shackle, 
which that move, if you are not at a high enough level, will wipe out your whole team! Oh, and let's not forget about the Hell Attack too, which he's about to use right now, which will wipe out the front lines! INSTANTLY! Oh my god! That's that bullshit right there! So, uh, yeah! She really hit like a fucking truck there, ladies and gents! Let's go on ahead and try to revive everyone. I have a life creep, I... Or I should have used a life can, one of the two. It, it doesn't matter at this point. Uh... Yeah, we may end up losing another turn, trying to bring everybody back! Let's... Okay, fine, I'm just gonna use the life crepe again. Huh. <clears throat> <sighs> That's just the second turn, ladies and gents. We'll go on the defensive right quick. But at the time being, we're gonna have to use, uh... Manicure? And we're gonna have to use a cologne, so that, uh... Pluto could time stop her again. Or at least I hope she could. No, no, not a C cologne, a cologne! Or a bento said, whichever one comes first, I guess. We've got everything situated. Um... Well, we don't have everything situated. Cause sadly, the final boss, if Sailor Moon is taking her on... Mind you, if I tell you this, is 400,000! Yeah! Ouch, that's painful! You awful, awful bitch! Alright, let's give her one last hurrah! Yeah, I came in completely underleveled. I feel like an ass. But don't worry! We got this, I think. Or, or should I say, Chibi Yusa's got this. Hopefully we'll do enough damage to her that will, uh... Pretty much offset what she does to us. OH SON OF A BITCH! SPIG OF THE ATTACK! NO! 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 You bitch! You bitch! Ugh, crap. That was just... That was just awful. I feel bad for doing that! Oh my goodness. So now, since the A team lost, the B team has to take over! Which, now we get the power of ass pull! Yeah, well what kind of ass pull we're talking? The ridiculous kind! All of a sudden, Apsu literally lost about 32,000, wait, 320,000 HP. She's now reduced to 80,000. So yeah, in a couple of turns, we could actually kill her. Fim du Shackle, uh, Hell Attack has all been weakened, and she rarely uses Sonic Wave. So, uh, yeah. On that note, ladies and gentlemen, uh... It's hard to lose, unless you're low level. Cause the, uh, level you need to be is about, um, 40. Yeah, and everyone here is between 48 and 50. So, yes, this is going to be a massacre. This is going to be an unbridled massacre. On top of the fact that- oh my god, did you see that shit? Oh man, it just makes me sick. Already, 17,000 damage! 
And by the way, you won't be able to fix the, uh, formation for Chibiusa's group because they'll come in automatically like this with Chibiusa on the front lines, no matter what you do. So, yeah! This is the gist of the fight! Now, if I was to, uh, go after the actual final bosses fight the way I intended to, it would have been a lot easier. A lot easier. I would have actually tried. You know what? Sparkly white pressure would have hit a lot more. Yep, there's that move again, and you know what? It does diddly squat to everyone! Except for Mars, it actually does 100 damage to her. So, yep, that's the gist! This fight is ridiculously easy if played against with Chibiusa, but it's batshit hard if played against with Sailor Moon! Honestly, why did they do that? I mean, it can be easy if you actually grind it up to max level, but still, why would you do something like that? That, that is absurd. <clears throat> Even from my standards. So, without further ado, sit back and let's waylay on this awful, awful person. And give her something to remember us by. I'm just gonna take the next turn to just bum rush her. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. Pink sugar, heart attack. And everyone, and I repeat, everyone, even the back row will be able to do extreme damage to her. As you can wholeheartedly see. 8,000. That's absurd. 1,000. 6,000. 9,000. No, wait, 8,000, but still. <coughs> that. You, you're, you're witnessing this, ladies and gentlemen. You are witnessing this. This is as gross as it gets. Now, if Sailor Moon and Sailor Chibi Moon were on the same team, they would have probably do some serious damage to uh, Apsu, but it's not even the case. <coughs> so, yeah. Use whatever attack that works necessarily, and if you need to use links, by all means, use whatever links is used is necessary to use. But nonetheless, Apsu's defenses will drop sporadically to the point where she is absolutely nothing. And with that said, that is the end of Apsu. And because of this, Apsu tries to go out with a bang, but thanks to Anshar, she goes out with a whimper. <coughs> because Anshar will use Sin, no, Anshar will actually try to get to Sin to keep Sin from hurting Anshar. <coughs> And, yeah, while this may be a sacrificial move on Anshar's part, that just means that, well, the world is not saved. Well, the world is saved, it's just that there's actually casualties. But at this point, Sin actually is using her mind to control Apsu. Which leaves her wide open for the Silver Crystal. I can't believe this little annoyance actually killed the final boss of the game.
They purposely made it easy for Chibiusa to win! And due to Apsu being killed, Anshar and Sin will have to fade away because if for some reason <coughs> uh well since Apsu had something to do with Anshar and with uh Sin, they're both are going to fade away and their fates are going to restart. Which means it's heartbreaking for poor Chibiusa. It's really sad, actually. She kills the villain, yet she gets the worst ending of the bunch. Well, of the two. And she won't be able to tell Anshar how she truly feels. Because if she ever comes in contact with Anshar or anybody involved with Sin ever or... Apsu, for that matter, ever again, Apsu may appear. And, yeah, this is what happens when you don't actually beat the final boss the first time around. Innocent victims will end up being affected for the rest of their lives. Pretty dark, if you ask me. Nothing is more dark than the conquest ending of Hyperdimension Neptunia. Well, except for the bad ending of Mega Dimension Neptunia Victory. I mean, V2, sorry. Not Victory. Why did I call it Victory? Ah, uh, but nonetheless. This is still dark, nonetheless. I just said nonetheless twice. Why do I do that? It's a very bad habit I need to stop. And we, and if you actually sat through the beginning, you would watch this scene, where Anshar inadvertently picks up uh, Chibiusa's locket and keeps it with him for all, at all sakes. So in other words, Chibiusa is literally responsible for this. Yes, the reason why Anshar fell in love with Chibiusa in the first place is because of the fact that he had her locket. The lock. Uh, no, sorry, I'm getting angry and I'm getting flustered, but the only reason why Chibiusa fell in, was pretty much in love with Anshar, or should I say the other way around, is because Anshar inadvertently ran into Chibiusa and picked up her locket, and had her locket, and was falling in love with her. Because of that locket! So Chibiusa is literally partially responsible for all of this! Because the only reason why Chibiusa would, the only reason why Apsu would ever, ever understand anything about the memories of Sailor Moon and the Sailor Soldiers, if she didn't have anything of Chibiusa's, oh, what would she did? Because Apsu may have, Apsu may have, okay, <clears throat> Anshar may have gave Apsu that locket so that she can go through all of Chibiusa's memories. And pull out all the villains! So in other words, this is Chibiusa's fault! And with that, we're done with this part. See you in the finale for the true final